guys, so the first thing I'm doing is priming my skin and I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer which I have been loving lately. It's pretty much one of my favourites. And I'm using the NYX Total Control, I believe it's called, foundation drops. Um, I'm in the shade Buff, I think. Um, so I'm just dropping some of that onto my skin and then blending it out using this Thin Lizzy Blurring Brush. And I do actually really like this foundation. This was my first time trying it. And then for concealer, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear in NC15 and I'm just dotting it under the eyes and then down the center of the face and blending it all out using a Sigma F79. And then I do just take my foundation brush and just make sure all the edges are nice and seamless. Then to set my concealer and basically my face, I'm using this Inglot Freedom Powder. Um, I believe it's in the shade 503, but it will be listed down below. So I'm just using a Sigma F04 and then I use a Sigma F20 just to cover a little bit more area. And then I'm using the contour shade from my Inglot palette, which I believe is 505. And I'm using a Sigma F23 brush just to bronze and kind of contour my face. And then for blush, I'm taking this one out of my Inglot palette. I don't remember the number, but it will be down below. Um, so just applying that with a Sigma F40. And then to highlight, I'm using an F35 from Sigma and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped palette and I'm using the shade Moonstone from it and oh, I just love this palette so much. They make such good highlighters. Then moving on to the eyes, I'm taking the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm first taking uh, this light brownie kind of shade and I'm just using that as a transition shade and then I'm going in with this kind of more caramelly brown shade and I'm using a Real Techniques B04 blending brush which I do really like this brush um, and yeah I'm basically just blowing out this color underneath the eyes through the crease just kind of everywhere then taking the next color along in the palette which is much more of a red rusty kind of shade. I'm using a MAC 217. I hate this brush because it's real hair but I couldn't find my Sigma E25 so I just had to deal with it. Then I'm just taking some of this bone creamy kind of shade and I'm just using this to kind of diffuse the edges where the crease colors meet kind of the brow bone skin. Then I'm taking this medium kind of cooler tone brown and I'm just starting to build this up in the outer corner again with that MAC 217 and dragging it underneath the lower lash line as well. Then I'm taking the black from the palette. It does have little sparkles in it but you don't really notice them too much so I'm just using an E30 from Sigma just to apply it sort of in the outer corner and then drag it down underneath the lower lash line and then I used the 217 just to diffuse it and blend it out. Then I'm taking the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow in Sunset Cove, which is this beautiful iridescent pinky shade. So I'm just applying that to the lid and then I'm going in with this NYX Loose Glitter and I'm just pressing it in on top of that Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow, kind of using that as my base. Um, and yeah. Then I just applied some of the Stila shade just underneath the lower lash line as well. Sorry if you just heard my dog shake himself. Um, then I applied the kind of champagne color in the inner corners and tight lined my eyes with a black liner. Applied a coat of the Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara and then I applied the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies in the style Wispy I think. And then I just applied a coat of lower lash mascara and that finished off the eyes and then for the lips I went for nude surprise surprise so I used my Maybelline nude whisper lip liner and then to fill them in I used the MAC lipstick in the shade pure zen which is one of my old favorites I do really love this color and that completes the entire look I really hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in my next one